Look at this. We made it. Houston. How about this? Never thought we'd see it. First weekend of January. Oh, world championship seems so far away. Boom. Time flies. So let's just get into it. I have a list of some teams I think are going to do well this weekend at the Houston World Championship. I go off of the Statbotics rankings, which just bases everything off of offense, uh, which offense is good to score points in a game in which the objective is to score as many points as possible. So when I talk about the team, I'll say their number, their name, and then give their world ranking and the field that they're competing on in Houston. So to start us off simple, let's just go with the offensive bot of the week from last week, 118 Robonauts. They are on one of the best runs we've ever seen from a team. They've played 101 matches for a grand total of 86 14 and 1 thus far. They won their three districts as well as the Tallahassee Regional. Then they went on to win their district championship as well as winning the Impact Award at the first district championship. So through six weeks of competition, they already racked up eight blue banners. What's the most in a season? I feel like it's eight. If they go first impact, if they go on a run, we could see 11 banners for this team in one season. Speaking about the state of Texas, let's talk about the team that they won this district championship with, 3005, the Robo Chargers. They're ranked number nine in the world, but number one in the state of Texas. They are now back-to-back -back Texas state champions. And they were finalists on the Galileo field last year. Now, another team that has impressed me a lot, the 1771 North Gwinnett Robotics down out of the Peachtree District. Number one at the Peachtree District. Uh, number one at the Peachtree District Championship. District Champions. Very fast bot incredible cycle times very nice assist times and insanely quick and precise autonomous we saw their alliance in the finals clear out every single piece 11 for 11 that's all the pieces there that is all of them there now north gwinnett is gonna be on dally with the robonauts so that might be a matchup right there Let's go on to the Hawaiian kids. They'll be on Newton. Now, the Hawaiian kids have been basically a runner-up for my pick on Offensive Bot of the Week. Basically, every time they competed. They are 4 for 4 on their regionals, which is super rare to sweep that loaded of a ticket. But speaking of loaded... The Hawaiian kids are on Newton, and the Newton field has turned into the field of death. Last year, it was Archimedes with OPN, the Cheesy Poofs, although they got hit with that Archimedes curse. But now Newton is looking like world champions might be coming from that division just because of who all's here, who all has to beat up on each other just to advance to Einstein's. You got the Hawaiian kids. You got 111 Wild Stang. The cheesy poofs are there, 254. 323, that's Madtown. 3393, that's Bumblebee. 3476, that's Code Orange. 3487, that is Lambot out of Mexico. 3015, Ranger Robotics. 2767, Strike Force. And 2910, Jack in the Bot. That is going to, that's just to name a few. That is an extremely stacked lineup. It's like, can't that all just be one alliance, have 10 bots take the field? I did mention the cheesy poofs. Their reputation precedes them. 359, one of these teams, they put together really amazing bots, really amazing seasons. 
Can't bring home a world championship though. 254 on the meanwhile. Got five of them. Now I see the Hawaiian kids kind of like OP last year, kind of like up a creek the year before that, going number one at their field, choosing the cheesy poofs. If the cheesy poofs go number one, I honestly see them taking Madtown just because they have that reputation. We all remember the battle between the Cheesy Poofs and Jack and the Bot in 2018 going head-to-head -head in the Einstein Finals. That might be the Division Finals right there. Jack and the Bot won both their districts at the PNW, but got upset at the District Championship. But that doesn't mean they're not a strong bot still. They have that swivel turret, much like 118, and these swivel turrets go hard like i said any position is in position when you have a swivel turret you spend less time jockeying for position and turning around and aiming when you can just go boom 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 now since i talked about op and 254 let's talk about op robotics they are currently the number one team in the world they have one of the fastest bots that I've seen this season, and they used it to win their district championship. Maybe they'll use it to finally win a world championship. They are regarded, at least I regard them as, the best team to have not won a world championship. I'm thinking this is their year. I know I said that last year, Archimedes Curse had other plans, but this year, knock on wood, find some wood around you to knock on because this year is going to be OP Robotics year. They are over on that Galileo division, and since Newton is gonna be the field to look out for, Galileo is gonna be a bit more wide open for them at least to advance to Einstein's. The Hopper field is also looking a little stacked uh they got a couple of california teams and another team that competed in california 5940 bread is there they won the san francisco regional and central valley regional very fast bot whole lot of pieces loaded up very nice auto of course everyone's gonna be out here with their really nice autos but bread same with 4414 High Tide, their number 10 in the world. Had some trouble in the Port Wyneme Regional, but got it going for their Las Vegas and Ventura County Regional wins. Uh, reigning world champion could go back to back. Speaking of the Ventura County Regional, how about the team they won it with? 4481 Team Rembrandt's. I know they aren't ranked as high as some of these other teams, but rankings, schmankings, uh, when it comes to these, honestly, they are a world champion, and they are a really good team consistently, and they're also there on Hopper. If that matchup was good enough for Ventura County, might be good enough here. Now, I mentioned Jack and the Bot for the Newton division. How about 2046 bare metal for the Hopper division? Three district wins on this season. They were with Jack and the Bot on the one-seeded alliance in the Pacific Northwest District Championship. I think they can get it going. No bias. No bias whatsoever. I mean, can you blame me? This cape is too nice not to show off. All right, moving back to a California team, but moving away from the Hopper division now. 6036 Peninsula Robotics. They're going to be on the Archimedes field. So we got that Archimedes curse to look out for. Uh, they won the Arizona Valley Regional and were finalists down at the Idaho Regional. And their bot looks like their bot last year. Very big bot, very fast bot. Hard to defend, hard to move, right? If your defense trying to push him out the way, good luck. And since Newton seems to be that field of death and Hopper also a bit stacked, Archimedes wide open. How about 46-13, the Barker Redbacks? They won the Bosphorus Regional, won the Southern Cross Regional. Always, always a high-powered team. Very fast, very speedy. 
ranked 29th in the world. Now, of course, also on Archimedes, the team that invented this game, 1678, the Citrus Circuits, number three ranked offense in the world. They won the East Bay and Silicon Valley regionals, but lost the Sacramento Regional against 254. Won the East Bay Regional with them. So if both those alliances make it to Einstein, they might have to face each other, and that is going to be a very interesting matchup. 254 seems to be the Achilles heel of a lot of teams. So the big question being, can the Citrus Circuits do without them on the biggest stage? We already saw what happened with or without them in the regular season. But the bright lights of Houston might be blinding. It's a whole different world. Different ball game. Might as well round out the top 10 with the 8th ranked team in the world. That is 1690 Orbit. Won both their districts over in Israel as well as the Israel District Championship. Another one of these teams. Very good. Very competitive. Still haven't brought home a world championship. Could make a splash over there in the daily division with 1771, with 118 maybe. For the Milstein division, I am looking at 9483, the Istanbul Wildcats. Technically a rookie team, there are stipulations as to what constitutes a true rookie team. They are a bit of a rebranding of the Sneaky Snakes, but the Sneaky Snakes were a good team. Istanbul Wildcats looking way different. This is a very quick bot. Whole lot of pieces going up in auto. Like I said, everyone's cranking out five cycles a game. It's going to come down to auto, going to come down to end game. Their auto, very hard to beat. Bouncing around to the Curie division. I'm looking at 2481, the Roboteers. They won the Central Illinois Regional and the Rocket City Regional. And I've been one of these teams consistently good, consistently can and will just go on a run. Haven't been to the Einstein round in a while. Uh, and quite frankly, it's a bit overdue. Their offense is ranked 14th in the world. And that's up there. Now the eighth and final division, Johnson division. I'm looking at the teams that I called the 17-6s. Must have happened by pure coincidence, but these teams have been on many people's radars for the whole season. We got 1706, the Ratchet Rockers, 1756, Argos, and 1796, the Robo Tigers. The Ratchet Rockers uh, won the Central Missouri Regional and the St. Louis Regional. Currently 33-2 and two on the season. Uh, Argos won St. Louis with them, as well as the Central Illinois Regional with the Roboteers, who I mentioned earlier. And the Robo Tigers, completely different section of the world. They won their three New York Regionals, the Hudson Valley Regional, the New York Tech Valley Regional, and the New York City Regional. Three regional wins, quite a run. They might just keep this run going. Win a division, win a world championship. Who knows, 2024, anything can happen. Now lastly, defense. I do say defense wins championships, and that'll never be any less true. Although everyone's going for these high offensive volleys, Quickest cycles, all three robots scoring. But defense could be the difference maker. Now, wall bots are very fun. We can talk about 9452, the Steel Stingers. They'll be on Milstein. If anyone on Milstein needs a smiley bot, there you go. But I think as the season has progressed and as offenses have gotten fine tuned, these wall bots have gotten found out. Everyone's doing their film study. Everyone's doing these adjustments. So these wall bots 
aren't as effective as week one, week two. But box defense is where it's at. I gave defensive bot of the week last week to 4285 the camo bots. Uh, in part because of the defense for their Chesapeake Championship. Uh, they're over on the Milstein division as well. They were playing mean box defense. They really got in their way, making them go through the stage area, which isn't the most assured bet, especially in endgame. That's going to be a penalty on the opposing bot. Now, someone in the comments section for my week six extras video did say that I robbed 7660, the Biting Irish, uh, of the defensive bot of the week spot. Biting Irish were on the active division in states and were the division winner in part because of their mean defense. And like credit where credit is due, that is some very shut down defense that they played over there. So I think the waiting strategy for Worlds, you're going to have one bot. A lot of the scoring's gonna go through them. They're gonna be loading up the amp. They're gonna be loading up the speaker once it's amplified. You're gonna have a partner send over assists and also make shots on goal when everything's amplified. And then you're gonna have your third robot also send over assists so you keep the cycle times going but work in that box defense that box defense is going to be the key here just slow the other side down as much as possible and that little difference all you need is a little bit of wiggle room for it to get out of hand we've seen these defensive bots playing box defense absolutely chew clock and just get an opposing robot effectively out the game defense wins championships you can quote me on that thank you for watching i will see you after we crown a champion have fun out there in houston go out in the pits collect some buttons i did see that the Innovation Fair happened. I'm filming this on Wednesday, so I hope y'all had fun at that. Have fun for all these matches. The very last week of the 2024 season. As always, gracious in victory, professional in defeat. Amen. 1540 drops off a note in the trap for the Red Alliance. They've done their pull-up. They're proud of themselves as they make their way on over.